my name is Brittany and today I will be discussing with you my material study of grass. I will go into detail on specifics varying from coloration to how to go about drawing this material. So why is grass green? It is this color due to chloroplast, which is a green pigment. The chloroplast traps light and reflects it internally, resulting in the reflection of a green coloration. This process is known as photosynthesis and requires water, sunlight, and the plant, which in this case is grass. This is a diagram of what the photosynthesis process is like. It takes water and light and combines them to make chemical energy. This diagram shows the chloroplast and its green coloration. As you can see from the internal leaf structure portion on the upper right, there are many chloroplasts that make up the cell. Grass gets its specific color based off of the level of photosynthesis. High photosynthetic production are areas where grass receives high level of sun and no shade. It results in a bright, vivid green color. An example of where this would be seen is wide open hills where there are no trees and shade for the grass. This picture shows exactly how grass under high photosynthetic production would appear. On the opposite end of the spectrum is low photosynthetic production. These are areas where grass receives high shade and just enough but minimal sun. It results in a deeper, darker green color. This is obvious in rainforest and very shady areas where grass grows. This color is very different than the first grass that was under high photosynthetic production. It is deeper and darker. A person who is painting would probably want to know these color differences because they would need to know what color and pigment of green to use. So what does grass need in order to retain this coloration? Grass can grow in environments where the temperature is above 5 degrees Celsius and soil moisture isn't limited. The reasons grass varies, like yard patches and regions of yellow or dead grass, is due to excess or defici deficiency of moisture, acidity, mineral efficiencies, or the presence of unproductive grass species and weeds. If grass doesn't have enough water, then photosynthesis comes to a halt. Grass is a very abundant crop and grows at an extensive rate. This diagram shows how grass grows and spreads out. Grass connects at the rhizomes, and a stoolen is any spot that the rhizome is exposed and above the ground. This is a diagram of an individual grass root and growth of grass blades. It shows one main point that grass is a collection of shoots and is not just one blade per seed. It grows from the base, which is the leaf sheath, into a variety of directions as tillers and finally ending as leaf blades. As one can see, the leaf sheet and tillers are a cylindrical shape. One website that discussed drawing grass in pen and ink shows it incorrectly from my perspective. They feel a person should just repeat a pattern to resemble grass. This is a misconstrued and wrong approach, because grass isn't that simplistic, and it can make grass appear fictional and messy. Even though I do believe they are headed in the right direction from the bottom two pen drawings, I feel from a distance a person should squint in order to decide the area to draw and which to block out tonally. They should look at it from a perspective and just draw from life. For up close grass, I can show you some tips and tricks on approaching and drawing it. All you need is a cylindrical base and cylindrical tillers. And for the leaf blades, you would want to do the following. You'd want to cut into a cylindrical shape and you would want to make this cut just based off of the angle in which it is coming out of the cylinder, whether, because it'll just depend based off of the leaf blade. Then, you want to extend to a triangular leaf blade tip, and one should note that the cut out of the cylinder depends on where the cylinder ends and starts to turn into the leaf blade. So, thank you for listening. I wish I could tell you more, but for further research, you can read any books by John Ernest Weaver. He is a grass specialist who is very influential in my research. Now go draw that grass!